Hi there, this feels live, very extreme. Best friend's a little dashdash hound dog. Really? Expertly, owner. When you heard that the government was bringing in this ban, ban, what went through your head? UK video, I'm UK 24. Scared and worried for his sake than anything else because I knew he wouldn't hurt the flag. Time's down there. Late like today is the last day of January 31st, Wednesday morning, 24. He looks big and muscly. To exempt Frankie from the ban, Ellie has spent hundreds of pounds. 92 for the certificate. And then we've got to pay 25 in the insurance. And then the mother a lot of money. they're not cheap either. We're also getting image training. So it's all costing us a lot more than we expected. The dogs are, it's already expensive to have, guys. How does it feel? Even without these things in place. They're just more expensive than cats, I reckon. In my opinion. To keep your dog alive. They don't live as long as cats do. Because he's like my best mate. Yeah, actually, you get more out of your cat, I think, than a dog, in my opinion. It doesn't matter what other people think of him. I know him, I know. He won't hurt anybody. And I know he's the softest thing. Yeah, Frankie really does come across as a bit of a softie, despite the reputation of dogs like him. But it's important to remember there are many people... The people that have been abusing them, it's the problem. It's the only got to blame for it. And Frankie's trying to clear. So the the people are out the dogs on the leads, on the canal... Locally we around Surrey. Are the responsible party in it's the owner that's the problem. Um, and I their behaviour is rubbing on badly and the laws are catching up with the owners. And poor people like these people full regulations on where they were getting the suffer. dog from, you know, the traits, So you bad so dog owners, please, the love of God, get your act together. Because if you keep doing this, there'll be more of your dogs on leads and bands like this. The time goes by. But the RSPCA, which opposes the ban, questions the government's figures. We did some estimates amongst our own sector, and we heard veterinary professionals suggesting that there were around forty to 50,000 Excel bullies in the community, and others were suggesting an upwards figure of 100,000. Owners have until midday to, to make sure their Excel bullies meet certain criteria or risk having their dogs removed and destroyed. They must be microchipped, muzzled in public, neutered, and be specially insured, just in case they attack. For owners like Ellie, it's been a difficult few months. When I first put his mother on him, he cried and I cried, because it's cruel having to put something on a dog that hasn't done anything wrong. Don't put the ban on the dogs, ban the owners. If you aren't willing to get the training for the dog, then you shouldn't have that dog. I'm getting emotional, I'm sorry. Sorry. That's the issue. There's a lot of one out there, darling, and it's getting worse. So. It's not just these dogs, other dogs as well, guys. We can get more on this now with Dr. Anna Johnson. They're unpredictable animals, are. In cats, to be unpredictable. Morning, You've we got to be more thoughtful. What's it going you to mean bad dog owners. owners Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Well, one of the first things that they need to do is double check that their animal is microchipped, as was mentioned. Uh, and um, the second thing is they need to contact their vet fairly soon to try and get an appointment to discuss whether their dog is already neutered or not. Uh, they can't always be told, particularly female dogs, um, so they need to have a conversation and get them booked in so that they fit with the neutering deadlines, which are for dogs less than a year of old age, it will be the end of June 24, and for dogs um, under one year of age, it will be the end of December 24. But to avoid um, stretch, forward stretch pra practices, from having capacity issues, we recommend starting this conversation sooner rather than later. So for vets, there are the logistical issues about finding the space to deal with all these dogs at the same time. But what about the kind of more ethical concerns that you might have? What are you dealing with? Well, I think there are, we know that there are a number of tragic accidents prompted this ban. There was clear action that was needed, but the speed of the ban really created some challenging and difficult situations um, for and, and a lot of distress amongst vets, amongst the charities, and amongst XL Bully and XL Bully type owners. So um, we know that that has put um, a lot of people under pressure. There, some vets have experienced um, unfortunate abuse and intimidation incidents, and we know it's such an emotionally charged situation. We would ask that everybody is kind of courteous to all the owners at the problem as we navigate this. Very Unfortunately, they're making life more um, more difficult for everyone, not just with these dogs, other dogs. There's so, something going wrong out there. Um, 
um, working with pet and owners, the owners. Sure that animals get neutered in time and um, that we don't end up with bottlenecks as we get near those deadlines. And COVID didn't and help, that made it worse. So. The government to consider extending the neutering deadlines um, because we know that some of the particularly younger dogs that um, in these large breed dogs, there's increasing scientific evidence that it may not be in their health and welfare interests to neuter them um, too young. Normally, we have very contextualized conversations about neutering and the timing of neutering, factoring in the breed, the, the breed and the size of maturity of the dog, also its um, behavior. And we're having to make slightly rushed decisions at the moment, and that isn't in the interests of the long term health and welfare of the, the dogs that we're, we're looking after. Dr. Anna Judson, thank you. There you go, guys. Uh, what your opinion is, let me know. Yeah, it's more of a slow. Please subscribe to my channel, Sign and Gems, and the Force. Be with your oysters, my friend's biking gym, but if you find it, 3 to 5 p.m. on Surrey Hills Race Show. And it's my friend Shane, if you find it, live on the Surrey Hills Race Show at 10 to 12 and live on the Surrey Hills Radio Station Show. And it's my friend John, the last show, every Sunday at 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. live on the Waking Radio Station Show on last show, every Sunday at 9 to 12 p.m. I hope you like to Please subscribe to my channel on the Sign and Gems on the Force. Be with your oysters, quite a spot needs and the many. And we need to up to watch this video. It's my bad. So those dark, bad dog owners out there have the problem behind this situation. Buy the one.